you wrap up your week for us, Ron? Yeah, um, it was really nice to finish with three birdies. Uh, they would finished the last. Uh, it's been a great week. Uh, you know, just really impressed with the support that I've had from the local crowd here. And uh, yeah, it just hasn't really sunk in yet, but uh, it was an ex uh, extremely awesome week. What kind of stuff can you take away from a week like this to help you back? Yeah, you know, it's it's just part of the process that I'm on uh, to to finally win out on this on this tour, and I uh, just got to take it step by step and uh, kind of. Re uh, recall everything from this week and chalk it up to experience and use it going forward. Roger, yesterday you played with BJ Singh. What did you learn from watching him or just what was that experience like? Well, I learned how to make eight birdies real quick. <laughs> um, you know, he's a, he a class act, like I said yesterday. Um, you know, and it's just kind of, it's kind of nice playing with somebody who's obviously had a handful of, a couple handfuls of wins out here. Uh, you know, you learn a lot from a guy like that, who, you know, his composure, just the way he handles himself. What was the conditions like out there? How would you describe the golf course? You know, it was tricky for my first few holes. Um, you know, I guess the wind wrong in a few a few holes, and it kind of cost me. I had a really good shot on four, and uh, just uh, hit a gust of wind and, and came up short in the water. But uh, we started to get a little bit of a handle on the wind at the final few holes there. You can measure your game now against this kind of field. I guess does it reassure you that you're not far off? Oh no, you know the. The PGA Tour is not way up there anymore. It's just within grasp, and uh, it's comforting to know that uh, if I stick to the process, just uh, stay committed to what I'm doing, then I'm going to be out here soon. Roger, you had a really consistent uh, week, two rounds of 71 each and then two rounds of 72. What is your strategy coming into this tournament? You know, my strategy in each tournament is the same. It's to find the fairway, find the green, and then make a putt. Um, just put the ball in front of me. I thought I did that quite nicely. You know, uh, I had a couple tough breaks, a couple double bogeys out there that I had to battle back from, and that's really ultimately what I'm really pleased with was how I battled back from some adversity each and every round to come back and shoot and shoot a decent round. Give us a comment on, on the status of what you see from Canadian golf right now. Oh, it's so promising right now. You know, there's a handful of guys that were out here. You know, Adam. Uh, him and I hang out quite a bit on the web.com. Richard Scott's out there, Matt Hill's out there, you know, and then there's a handful of guys on PGA Tour Canada that are winning right now. Um, and then obviously we have uh, four or five guys that, that are playing well on the PGA Tour right now. So I think Canadian golf is uh, in really good hands right now. What are you going to do with your winnings? Are you going to use this as this honeymoon fund? Is honeymoon! This pay, pay for the <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know, this has just been such a good experience for me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to enjoy this week. I'm uh, going to go play Pittsburgh next week and enjoy my uh, the week after that wedding week. So I'm just going to enjoy it. Yeah, thanks guys.